Are we truly safe in today's world or are we just one push of a button away from catastrophe? In the shadowy realms of modern warfare, nuclear threats loom larger than ever. Born from the ashes of World War II, nuclear weapons have evolved from harbingers of sheer destruction to complex tools of strategic diplomacy. The first use of these weapons marked a chilling milestone in human history, fundamentally altering the nature of conflict and international relations. Today, the landscape of nuclear armament isn't just about who has more weapons, it's about who controls them, understands their power and most importantly, who can prevent their use. As nations burgeon their arsenals and new players emerge on the nuclear scene, understanding these weapons has never been more critical. This isn't just about military might, it's about geopolitical stability and the thin line between peace and apocalyptic devastation. Now let's delve deeper into the mechanics of these formidable weapons. To understand the threat we first need to understand the weapon. At the core of nuclear weapons lies a rather disquieting but fascinating science. These weapons unleash energy from the atomic nucleus, the heart of an atom where protons and neutrons reside. This release of energy can be achieved in two primary ways, fission and fusion. Fission weapons, commonly known as atomic bombs, operate by splitting the nucleus of an atom. Picture a heavy atomic nucleus like uranium or plutonium. When a neutron strikes the nucleus, it splits, releasing a colossal amount of energy and more neutrons. These neutrons then go on to split other nuclei, creating a chain reaction. The bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II were fission bombs. The devastation they wrought was immense, but they are actually the simpler and less powerful of the two types of nuclear weapons. Turning to the second type, fusion weapons or hydrogen bombs, these are exponentially more powerful. Here the process is somewhat akin to what powers our sun. Fusion involves forcing lighter atomic nuclei to combine into heavier nuclei. In the case of a hydrogen bomb, isotopes of hydrogen such as deuterium and tritium are used. Under extreme pressure and temperature these isotopes fuse to form helium and a neutron, releasing an immense amount of energy. The trigger for this reaction is usually a fission bomb. Thus, a hydrogen bomb actually uses an atomic bomb as a sort of starter, igniting a fusion reaction that leads to an explosion far more powerful than fission alone. The design and triggering mechanisms of these weapons are complex and highly guarded secrets. They involve precise engineering to ensure that the reactions occur exactly when and as intended. The use of conventional explosives in fission bombs and intricate timing mechanisms in hydrogen bombs are part of what make these weapons both fascinating and horrifying. With such devastating power, the strategy of using these weapons is not just military but deeply political. Nuclear weapons are not just about raw power, they're about strategy. The very existence of these formidable weapons has led to a strategic stalemate where the primary utility is not in their use but in their potential use. This concept is known as deterrence. Deterrence is a strategy aimed at preventing an adversary from taking an undesirable action, not by physical prevention but through threats of significant retaliation. The cornerstone of nuclear deterrence is the doctrine of mutually assured destruction, commonly abbreviated as MAD. This doctrine holds that if two opposing sides both possess sufficient nuclear capabilities, the guarantee of mutual annihilation would prevent either side from actually using these weapons in a conflict. The delicate balance of MAD requires each side to maintain a credible threat. It's a high-stakes form of brinkmanship, where the threat must be believable enough to deter, but not so aggressive as to provoke. The nuclear arsenals are maintained at ready status, capable of being deployed within minutes, creating a perpetual state of tension. Beyond the battlefield, nuclear weapons have also become powerful political tools. They are symbols of ultimate power and sovereignty, influencing global politics profoundly. Nations with nuclear capabilities use them as bargaining chips in international negotiations, leveraging their nuclear status to gain concessions or to influence global policy. This strategic use extends to non-proliferation efforts as well. Countries with nuclear weapons often take leading roles in international discussions about nuclear arms, sometimes using their status to sway decisions or enforce treaties that consolidate their position of power, all while advocating for non-proliferation. The influence of nuclear weapons on global strategy and politics is profound and multifaceted. They shape not just military policies but international relations at large. 
The existence of these weapons creates an underlying tension that affects all nations, nuclear armed or not. But who oversees these deadly strategies? Let's find out. Managing nuclear weapons involves intricate international policies. The sheer power and potential devastation of nuclear weapons necessitate a robust framework for control and regulation. This is where several key treaties and agreements come into play, shaping the landscape of global nuclear policies. At the forefront is the Non-Proliferation Treaty, or NPT, established in 1968. This critical agreement has three pillars, non-proliferation, disarmament, and the right to peacefully use nuclear technology. Essentially, it aims to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and weapon technology, to promote cooperation in the peaceful uses of nuclear energy, and to further the goal of achieving nuclear disarmament. Another significant treaty is the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, known as the CTBT. Although not yet in force due to the requirement for ratification by all key states, the CTBT prohibits all nuclear explosions for both civilian and military purposes. It represents a global norm against nuclear testing, with 184 countries having signed it, demonstrating widespread international support for controlling nuclear capabilities. Recent talks and treaties involving major nuclear powers also play a crucial role. These include strategic arms reduction treaties like New START between the United States and Russia, which aim to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads and their delivery systems. Such agreements are critical in maintaining a balance and preventing the escalation of nuclear arms races. The role of international bodies cannot be understated. The United Nations, through its Security Council, often addresses nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament issues. Meanwhile, the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IEA, acts as a watchdog, promoting safe, secure, and peaceful nuclear technologies. The IEA conducts inspections and monitors nuclear facilities to ensure compliance with safety standards and treaty commitments. Despite these frameworks, challenges remain. Non-compliance and enforcement issues frequently surface, questioning the effectiveness of international legal instruments. With policies in place, the real challenge lies in enforcement and compliance. Awareness and preparedness can mean the difference between safety and disaster. In the shadow of nuclear threats, the line between safety and catastrophe is razor thin. Nations around the globe take extensive measures to prepare for the unthinkable. Civil defense measures, for instance, are comprehensive strategies that include everything from public education campaigns to emergency evacuation plans. These are designed not to scare, but to empower citizens with knowledge and practical steps in case of a nuclear emergency. Public awareness campaigns play a crucial role. They are tailored to educate the public about what to do in the event of a nuclear explosion, where to find shelter, how to decontaminate, and the importance of staying informed through credible sources. Governments often conduct drills that simulate nuclear scenarios ensuring that both the authorities and the public know how to respond swiftly and effectively. Beyond national borders, international cooperation is pivotal. Preventing the spread of nuclear weapons is a task no country can tackle alone. Through treaties like the Non-Proliferation Treaty, countries commit to reducing the global nuclear arsenal and share intelligence that can preempt nuclear threats. Intelligence sharing among nations can be a game-changer, providing critical insights that help prevent potential nuclear incidents before they escalate. Moreover, international watchdogs such as the International Atomic Energy Agency work tirelessly to ensure compliance with global nuclear policies, conducting inspections and monitoring nuclear facilities worldwide. Their work helps maintain a delicate balance ensuring peaceful use of nuclear technology while preventing its proliferation for warfare. Thus, the fabric of global safety in the context of nuclear threats is woven with threads of individual awareness, national preparedness, and international cooperation. Each component is crucial, reinforcing the others, creating a resilient defense against potential nuclear incidents. Staying informed and prepared is our best defense in a world where nuclear threats remain a silent specter. As we've seen today, the nuclear threat is complex and multifaceted. Delving into the mechanics of nuclear weapons, we've unraveled how these devices, powered by nuclear fission or fusion, can unleash unprecedented destruction. The strategic use of these weapons is a game of high stakes, influencing global power dynamics and necessitating meticulous planning and forethought. We've also navigated through the labyrinth of global nuclear policies, examining how nations strive to balance national security with global peace initiatives. 
The tapestry of treaties and agreements crafted to control the proliferation of nuclear arms highlights the global community's commitment to preventing nuclear catastrophe. Moreover, the importance of awareness and preparedness cannot be overstated. Understanding the potential impacts and the necessary responses to nuclear threats prepares individuals and communities for the unthinkable, fostering a culture of resilience. In the shadow of these formidable weapons, staying informed, vigilant, and prepared is not just wise, it's essential for our survival.